Hey all here OS Reviews, this is just a quick look at the Vadir Time Lock Box. This quirky gadget claims to be as safe for storing your smartphone, other tech products, including even snacks and food that you may have a growing addiction to and have a downtime where you physically aren't able to touch that device. So it may seem like a silly concept at first, but these days we do often use our smartphones maybe too much and having a way to forcibly put it away or even using it as some type of time capsule, maybe store something that automatically unlocks after X hours is kind of a neat idea. If you're a parent, you can of course control smartphone usage for your child by popping it into this box. It's powered by four AA batteries, but you can also use a USB Type-C cable and provide power if the batteries there run out as another alternative. The box here is also constructed out of aluminum alloy, so it has a pretty sturdy build, coming in two sizes, small and large. The large version has 2.6 liters of capacity, even featuring a charging cable port, so you can still technically have your device be charging while it's in the box. And this is based on studies conducted by psychology researchers at universities like Princeton that a time-locked box can indeed aid in building up better habits and breaking free from certain smartphone or food addictions. The lock, by the way, can be set to a maximum of 365 days in terms of the duration, so you can lock it for up to a year if you really wanted to. So anyways, we do have two translucent strips on the front. You can still kind of peek inside and see what's in there. Otherwise, the box here again is constructed out of a pretty sturdy aluminum metal, has a good heft to it. Side here featuring the charging port if you do have to charge your device inside. And on the back here we have that Type-C port for supplying emergency power. There's another child lock button. And then on the very back we have a soft touch rubber feet that prevents the box from sliding around on a surface. And when opening up the box, for the first time at least, you do have a included USB Type-C cable to provide power, and then also just a quick user guide. The inside of the box is also covered by this felt, kind of soft touch material, so if you put in your phone it's not going to scratch it either, which is pretty thoughtful. And the battery compartment is located on the inside here. Because the screen here is super simple, just a LCD not even having a backlight, the battery is rated to last upwards of a year to a year and a half before needing to be swapped out. Now a closer look at how it works, we have our phone popped in to the box. After a few seconds, the LCD display will go to sleep to conserve on juice, but you can then tap on any key to wake it up. And right now we don't actually have a timer which is active, but we can still lock and unlock the box, just acting as kind of a safe by tapping and holding for three seconds to lock and also unlock it. It is a digital lock, so afterwards you can then pop it open again, but once you have it shut, and now the entire thing will be locked and cannot be opened even if you are unplugged from power. So even without the timer, you can still lock something inside, but it's not really super secure since there is no key or password mode. So that is maybe one thing they could improve on in the future model. And the child lock key that we saw there before, what that does is if you press on it for three seconds, it will lock any of the keys from being triggered. So if a child is kind of fiddling around with the controls on the front, nothing will happen until you press on that key for three more seconds to enable all the buttons again. Then when unlocked, we're able to change the time that we want to lock something inside, including minutes, hours, and days, again up to 365 days from now. The battery percentage is also shown on the side. So the minimum duration is one minute. There isn't any second controls, but once you are satisfied, you can then just tap on the lock key and it will kind of lock itself there for one minute. Again, you're able to have a peek of what is inside. So once again, this is not necessarily meant as a replacement for a true safe because if someone really wanted to, they could technically kind of crack this open and maybe try to wrestle inside, though it's still a little bit tough because the object is long enough on the width. However, it is one thing to keep in mind compared to not having these windows at all. So it's a trade-off between security versus visibility. And you heard that the lock there then timed out and now the box is open once again. So it works quite well, simple to operate. And the box here also remembers the last five time durations that you have set before. So you can quickly cycle on the up and down to go through the last five times that you have set if you want to reuse the same duration, which is neat. So you don't have to enter say five minutes every single time. Maybe if they really wanted to create an even more deluxe version, they could consider having it be Bluetooth or Wi-Fi enabled, and let's say you can connect it to an app on your computer. You can then monitor the time remaining from there. Also, when the timer is counting down, you can still press on the gear icon for three seconds to add additional time on top of it. So you can increase the 
countdown. However, one mode that seems to be missing, at least in the user guide, would be a manual or emergency open mode. Granted, that kind of defeats the purpose of a locked box, but it is one thing to consider. I have seen some versions floating around where you have up to, let's say, three emergency open attempts by using some type of password to then pop it open, even when the time isn't completely down to zero yet. So kind of a double-edged sword. On one hand, you might be able to not really break your habit if you are relying on that release code, but at the same time, if there really is a true emergency, bringing the box with you might be also a little clumsy. So that's more or less it as far as a quick look at the time locked box. Kind of a strange product, but one that certain folks may find to be practical. Again, if you are trying to beat your smartphone addiction or a snack addiction, you can lock things inside. And as the saying goes, out of sight, out of mind, you don't have to really worry about it. But for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.